Good morning. We're almost in Amsterdam. Beautiful morning at sea. It's actually not that cold. And I feel the cold. And coffee. On my inside that coffee. <laughs> Did you? Welcome to the Netherlands. What a nice day. Well, that's us off the ferry and officially in Amsterdam. And we are on our way to, I don't know how you pronounce it, so please, you know. It's a North Netherlands area, isn't it? Yeah, Horn or something. And we're off to see a lady called Suzanne, who is a Dutch artist and printmaker who has been following us for a while on We Are Makers. And she reached out to us to say, why don't we come by and see her studio? So that's where we're off to first. Oh, I love dogs. I love dogs. We have a dog, right? He's a teenager at the moment. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Two different one of these besides and four smaller ones below. So the series is is growing. And um in chronological order it was like this one this one this one and then that one and already with this one it uh, it went viral actually mm -hmm. and um that one was being watched on instagram like four or five million times wow That's reading the comments and uh, i was in tears tears <laughs> yeah. because people are saying so much beautiful things and when you look who, who's saying that comment and you see well they make beautiful work and they call that the high standard high le highest level of uh, of line our uh, print uh, messages coming from all sort of things and and so i was busy 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 and no time anymore to read these comments or what i just thought okay a lot of work yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, which is great and, and then, this one and has um 12 million views. i made that one oh. and it was like over 12 million views and then hell break loose because so much is happening and so many people are approaching you and it, it totally became abstract to me yeah and uh, how do you keep up yeah, yeah. i cannot yeah. And do you want to keep up or do you want absolutely. to do your own thing yeah. absolutely ah, so this is the last brown on this really isn't it the brown down here Last year I had to make a decision because I'm also having a besides a daytime job I work in psychiatry, uh, um, teaching and, and, and uh, um, wood workshop, a ceramics workshop and oh, cool. workshop and everything. And then um, I had like three roles. I had my own and then I had the horses and then I had that. And, uh, it, became too much so mm -hmm. choices have to be made yeah. and stepped away from the horses and yeah. I cut down hours in the daytime job and uh, hopefully one day I'm totally focused on, on this. That's, I see differently than you or you or, or him mm -hmm. and that's not only because of color blindness it's the experience yeah. and then uh, this is the perfect way for me how i experience color and i look through the bird and in all these layers i can make it alive for people to see it mm. the way people in holland just cycle everywhere will never cease to amaze me it's amazing what a great way to just build healthy habits into your life right stop two stop two d1 and we're at Ellen Van Dyke's studio. Just getting the podcast kit together. Ellen is a glass artist yes. who paints Bongo. portraits directly onto the glass. Super cool. Which is super cool. Not um, something we've seen before. And it looks like her workshop is an old swimming pool, as in in the swimming pool. 
from what we can guess. So we're hoping to go explore. I just started renting out the dressing rooms and shower rooms for some <laughs> artists. So they made the pool. Oh my goodness, that is a stage. <laughs> I have to say, one of like That's my odd, one of my worst nightmares is an empty pool. Okay. And these are all studios right now. Not all of them are rented out, but this is mine. So it used to be the men's dressing room. Oh, and this is the men's dressing room. Wow. So is this a commission or is it just... No, 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 it's a personal work. I do work in commission, but I sometimes have to do work like this, otherwise I just go crazy. So, so this is all lead, isn't it? Yeah, that's all lead. But um, you painted each of these panels separately. Yeah, all of the glass has been painted. This has been etched. You can kind of like feel like so you oh, yeah. the red layer of the glass and then the clear glass underneath um, comes through. And I've done that with this one as well. So this was blue glass like layered on top of clear and then you etch away the colored layer and then yeah, you get the multicolor yeah. yeah. I have to say I've never seen anything like it. So maybe all in all three weeks. Nice. Um, when I teach classes I always paint together with the students so they can like look at the way I'm doing things. Mm -hmm. So these are all things I've done during the during a class. Like the art in itself is incredible. Like yeah, as a painting, yeah. it's incredible. I really yeah, in fact, it's like on glass song. as well. Is a bit nuts. <laughs> it's a bit nuts. It's a bit nuts. <laughs> Hotel for the night. You're born. <laughs>